Hello everyone, it's great to see your smiling faces. My name is Victor Prasad. I'm a real estate broker here in Southwest Florida, Cape Coral. And in today's video, we're talking about filter and how it affects your foundation. So as a part of this series that's coming up, I'm going into new construction, laying out each step by step by step a step and documenting the process as best as I can to help guide you through your new construction build. So first let's define what fill dirt is. Fill dirt in Florida generally contains sand, clay, and broken rocks. The dirt is tan or brown in color and it does not contain organic material. Let's talk about how poor fill dirt can make or break your home. Florida is a wet and hot state all at the same time. So when the soil under a building dries out and shrinks, um, voids and cracks can be created underneath the foundation. If the foundation then settles into these voids and cracks, other problems can develop out of that. There are two main reasons uh, why fill dirt dries out and shrinks. Uh, number one is the hot and dry weather. During hot and dry seasons, clay soil especially is susceptible to drying and shrinking. The second reason is large mature trees with extensive root systems. Um, I think I call them a banyan tree. They have like all these different root systems that go way out. Um, in some cases, the root systems of large mature trees can be larger than the actual canopy of the tree. And if they get underneath your foundation, they could soak up the moisture from the soil and this causes shrinkage. Another part of fill dirt to take into consideration is compaction. Failure to properly compact the soil before the construction of foundation is another cause of settlement. I don't know if, uh, speaking of settlement, I don't know if you've ever been to a, a home during showings and you see like these cracks run through uh, the foundation. Hairline cracks are pretty normal. You see them on the drywall or whatnot and you see them uh, you know, on the exterior wall or on the floor. Well, I'm gonna pop it up somewhere. I don't remember the exact measurement, but if they exceed a certain if they exceed a certain uh, size in the crack, then it it's certainly causes an issue and you need to get it inspected. Diving back into the video, the causes of why these things happen is because the foundation must be placed on solid ground and soil that hasn't been compacted isn't solid, it's loose. If you put a foundation on top of it, it will compact over time by itself, this is true. However, the settlement and compaction will not happen evenly. And when differential settlement occurs, it will cause problems in your foundation like cracks and whatnot. Finally, let's talk about the process. So when you're driving around in Cape Coral, you'll see like these piles of dirt on top of cleared property. Well, before that dirt gets on top of that property, the contractor actually has, or the builder has somebody scraped a lot to clear it down to virgin ground, and then they put those piles of dirt on top of there. All right, so I'm in the field right now. I just uh, found this lot. I was driving around for a bit. And what they did is you can see they started uh, right where the survey sticks are, and they scraped the lot all the way to virgin ground and pushed everything to the backside of the property there. So, back to you in the studio. The dirt is trucked in from a quarry. Each dump truck contains 16 cubic yards and weighs approximately 22 tons. The amount of fill dirt is calculated by using a survey. The survey shows the elevation and the boundaries of the property, along with the blueprint for the size of the home, which lets the builder and or engineer know how much dirt they need. Once the dirt is trucked into the property, the contractor brings in heavy equipment to level the dirt and create a dirt pad. The dirt pad is then inspected and tested for compaction, which must meet 95% or more. Once that inspection has passed, then you are ready for digging your footers for your foundation. All right, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're thinking or even considering relocating here to Southwest Florida, be sure to call, text, or email me. I'd love the opportunity to connect with you. And if you wanna know more about working, living, or playing here in Southwest Florida, then if you haven't already, be sure to smash that subscribe button and click that bell notification so you're kept up to date with the latest content. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, own more real estate.